Martino di Camano was born in 1280 in Siena, Italy. Camino was a sculptor who is primarily known for his tombs in Pisa, Florence, and Naples. Apart from his tombs, Camino was also known for his work on the facade of the Cathedral of Siena, as well as numerous other religious sculptures. Camino gained his knowledge in sculpture by becoming a pupil of Giovanni Pisano, who is known for his influence in Gothic cathedrals in Pisa, Siena, and Pistoia. Camino worked alongside kings such as Henry VII and King Robert of Anu, primarily dealing with funerary monuments. Camino continued to work in Europe until his death in Naples in 1337. The first work we'll be discussing comes from the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry VII. On February 12, 1315, Tino de Camino was commissioned to erect the tomb of Henry VII out of marble in the choir of the Pisa Cathedral. The tomb was completed shortly afterwards in July 1315. The original design of the tomb was far more elaborate than its current condition. This is partly due to the tomb being dismantled in 1494 and recreated into a smaller tomb in the south transept of the cathedral. Prior to being dismembered, the tomb was fixed on the apse wall, high above the altar. The base of the tomb was a sarcophagus that was inscribed with text and supported by consoles on the front corners that were spiral columns. In the center of the tomb was an effigy of the emperor on his, in his death chamber. This chamber was flanked by reliefs that consisted of three figures each and four more figures that were carved onto those reliefs. This made a total of 14 figures that were meant to represent the apostles and the evangelists. Now the tomb is shown in a plastered cast. The only original components are the effigy of Henry VII and the 11 apostles. There were originally 12, but one was lost due to deterioration. The apostles and effigy are supported by four consoles and the inscriptions that were added after the original work. The second work that we'll be discussing today is the tomb of Cardinal Riccardo Petroni. It is made of marble and stands 130 centimeters high. Standing at the base of the tomb, which is supported by four large consoles attached to the wall, are four sculpted figures that are draped delicately with carved robes. These four figures are used to support the sarcophagus of Cardinal Petroni. The sarcophagus that the figures are holding up is decorated with reliefs that depict Christ after the resurrection. Above the sarcophagus are two figures that are holding back curtains to show an effigy of the deceased Petroni on his deathbed. Above the deathbed is a tabernacle that contains three figures. The central figure is represented of the Virgin Mary and of Christ. The figures on her right are Peter, and the figure on her left is Paul. The next piece is Gaston de la Torre's tomb. Camino erected the tomb of Gaston de la Torre the Patriarch of Achaia in 1318. The tomb has a striking resemblance to Cardinal Ricardo Petroni's tomb. Both are supported by four large consoles that are attached to the wall. These consoles in turn support the sarcophagus which is decorated with the reliefs of Christ after the resurrection. However, there are some specific design differences with Gaston de la Torre's tomb. The death chamber 
over the sarcophagus resembles a shrine in comparison to Petrone's, which resembles a tent. Also, Petrone's tomb has decorated tabernacle placed on top. In the case of Tori's tomb, there is nothing on top of it as of now. However, in its original state, there is a group of angels and the Virgin and Child. All of these figures were framed by a large baldachin, which is rested on top of the tomb. The next piece we'll be discussing is the tomb of Bishop Antonio de Orso. The tomb is located in the Cathedral of Florence. There are three consoles that are used to support the initial base of the tomb. There are three reliefs that are located on the left, center, and right of the two supporting arches at the bottom. The relief on the left shows a group of men and women whom seem to be well. The central relief shows a man with his arms spread out and a bow in either hand. The man is also standing upon a dragon, which looks like he conquered it. The relief on the right depicts men who are alive, as well as men who are dead. This is portrayed through the depiction of the skeletons. On the top of the base are three lion heads who bear the bishop's tomb. The sarcophagus is decorated with Christ, Mary, and some of the apostles in the middle with angels on the outer sides. On top of the sarcophagus is a sculpture of Bishop de Orso. He is in a seated position with his right hand overlapping his left. The bishop also has his head slightly tilted to the right. It is believed that the bishop would have been covered in a canopy, just like in Torre and Petrone's tomb. However, it has been lost in the tests of time.